Hello and welcome to the 6EF tutorial in the Cocos 2D JF version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at pushing a scene onto the stack. We'll be using the source code from the 59th tutorial in which we created a new scene. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JF provides us with all the desired functionality for manipulating scenes. In this tutorial we will cover how to push a scene onto the stack, hence halting the execution of the current scene and showing and executing the newly pushed scene onto the stack. A great example of where this can be used in a game is if you're on a game screen and you click a pause button, maybe the pause obviously. Yeah, the pause screen or the pause scene will show up and you don't want the game to keep running, whatever is happening, maybe the player's running or maybe the player's falling, or if it's let's say Flabby Bird. If, if you just kept playing, you would die because obviously the bird would hit the ground or hit a pipe. So you want to halt the execution of the current scene and uh, or the pre or the scene below technically because the current scene would be the the pause scene and handle that. So let's open up our app.js and create a menu with a font item so we can just switch between scenes. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do, actually one thing, one extra thing I need to add is, is create a variable called initialized, this is going to be equal to false, and then if I go down here, uh, you need to do this when creating a new scene in general, so if I go down here, and do if, Format this. I'm just going to do if initialized equals false. And what we're checking here is basically has this class, this scene, been initialized? And if it hasn't, then we're going to initialize it again. Uh, or we were going to initialize it. And the reason we're doing this is because if we're switching between scenes and it's already been initialized once, but we're not actually replacing it, so we're just like pushing it on, then we're going back to it, it'll just get multiple instances of it. You'll be able to notice that there'll be, let's say, loads of uh, sprites on top of each other, loads of menu items on top of each other. And that's not what you want in your game. So this is an easy way to get around it. Do initialized equals true. And what we're gonna do is copy and paste this going to open up app2.js, paste it here, change this to to hello world 2, and we're just going to put initialized underscore 2, you can name these wherever you want, I just want to differentiate them slightly because you know app.js and app2.js, and at the top put here, var initialized 2 equals false. So when it gets into it, it checks is it being initialized. If it's not, then it says the initialize variable to true and then it initializes our class. So we can just go off this a second. And if we just open up or oh, actually close it, let's go to app.js. And now what we're gonna do in here, like I said, we're gonna create a menu item, but first of all we're just gonna comment this out so this doesn't conflict with it in terms of the visual impact. Otherwise, there's nothing wrong with it. But bar menu item one equals new dot cc dot menu item font. We're just gonna say push, and I'm gonna we're gonna call a function called play, which we'll be creating in a moment. I'm gonna create a menu called menu equals to new cc dot menu. We've done all this before in the previous tutorial, so just check that out for more information. All the Cocos JS API guide is great for more information as well. Align items vertically and now what we're going to do is this dot add child menu and now what we need to do is open up or no, I mean not open up create our play function so var play equals function and in here I'm going to create a scene this is going to be equal to the hello world scene 2 dc dot director dot push scene 
and now we're just pushing the scene onto the stack. So this looks a okay. So what we're going to do is just open up terminal, chain directory to our project directory, run our cocos command so it runs our project. Now you see we have a push button, and if we click it, it takes us to our other scene. Which, if we go back and open up our app2.js, had a sprite, and that was the, actually the main reason I commented at Disco. So we definitely knew it had switched because uh, on here we have the sprite, and it is it has now appeared. But this scene is still ex it still exists, but it's just underneath. So once we pop it, which will be coming in the next tutorial, uh, we'll be able to go back to that scene. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.